We're building up a series of electrical science and principles videos that can be made in the classroom by college lecturers or students to obviously add a little bit of entertainment to it. And now we're down to the two previous dog food tins. So it isn't a lot of technical stuff here, but it's going to be an experiment nonetheless, Chris. You're right, we have got two dog tins. We've got two conductors and what I've done is put a piece of wooden dowel across the middle of them and you can see it's suspended on a piece of cotton. Here's a ring pull from can of pop. I'm not seeing much electrical science and principles at the minute, but I'm gonna go with it. Also, you've got this here, which is your fly swatter, which we mentioned in a previous video. You only use the fly swatter because it gets a bigger DC output, is that yeah, right? Yeah, a bigger voltage, so therefore I'll get a bigger electrical charge. This is thing that was founded by Benjamin Franklin and it's called the Franklin's Bells. And because there's a difference in the charge, what will happen is the ring pull is suspended and it has some slight charge, whether it's positive or negative. We don't know that at this moment in time. So by the makeup of the materials and electrons in it, it'll either be slightly negative or slightly positive. And then by connecting these on here, one of these will be negative and one will be positive. Is that yeah, right? that's right. Yeah. So when I first press the button, it will then be attracted to its opposite so if the ring pull is negative it will be attracted to the positive once it's hit the positive it will then become totally positive and then that will be then attracted to the negative once it becomes negative it will then swing back over and become positive and, and hopefully make a ringing sound so let's press the button and see what does happen all right okay yeah so we've drawn to this side here first of all and now once it becomes say positive, it's then drawn to a negative, then once it becomes negative, it's drawn to the positive. And yeah, and it's just keep losing that and it'll just keep ringing and ringing. And Benjamin Franklin founded this and made a set of bells so that he knew that when the thunderstorms were coming. Just explain that a little bit further. What is it to do with thunderstorms? Yeah, so because we've got positive charge and a negative charge, what will actually happen is when they actually come together, that's when the lightning strikes and it doesn't strike. They meet in the middle. They don't, it doesn't actually strike from the ground or from the sky. They actually both meet in the middle and then it strikes from there and then goes to earth. We can actually smell the ozone. Can you smell it, Gaz? Yeah, I can. Because it's ionised the air, you see. And out the corner of my eye, I see something over here that looks like it might be named after a bloke that made a very famous car recently. And to check out the video where we use this, it's on screen now. 